Butch was hooked up to Percy. Rocky was ready to put Percy on the flatbed. And Harold the helicopter took Percy's crew to, to the hospital in case to check if they're injured or not. Even though I did say they weren't hurt, but just to be safe, they were taken to the hospi hospital to check that they didn't have any scratches or bruises. And Thomas said, keep calm, Percy. We'll soon, ha we'll soon have you out. <laughs> Butch pulled and strength. And he budged. At last, he pulled Percy out of the cabin. Percy was very heavy, but Butch managed. Just stay calm some more, Percy. You'll be fine. I am calm, Thomas. You're my best friend. I knew you would come and help us. Thomas just blushed. Rocky lifted Percy onto Thomas's flatbed. And Percy did have to be taken to the steamworks. He had, he had a crack in his funnel. His wheels were broken. And he was damaged all over. And he had scratches on him too. You ready to take your best friend to the steamworks, Thomas? As ready as I will be, sir. Percy, Rocky, you ready? I'm ready to be repaired, sir. I'm ready here. I'm ready. Same here, sir. But Emily, Edward, Toby, and James, you go to Tinmouth Sheds. I will have a talk to you after we drop off Percy. Yes, sir. So Sir Totten Hat climbed on board Thomas. Thomas pumped his pistons and then blew his whistle. Then he took Percy to the Sodor Steamworks. Thomas, Sir Totten Hat, Rocky, and Percy arrived at the steamworks. Percy was loaded onto a siding. Then Thomas and Sir Totten Hat took Rocky back to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Thanks, Rocky! No problem, Thomas! 